Question number 12, Dr. Jian Yang. Mr. Speaker, my question is to the Minister of Education. What recent announcements has the government made to address teacher supply? Mr. Speaker. Ah, the Honourable Nikki Kay. Mr. Speaker, as I referred to in my previous answer, last week I announced that Budget 2017 will commit $5.2 million of funding over the next four years to expand the innovative teacher training program Teach First NZ. There will of course be a process to work through. Right. However, Teach First graduates have proved hugely influential on the students they teach during their training, making a real difference to young people. It was great to personally receive feedback from Onehanger High School. The funding will provide two further cohorts of 45 participants each, starting in 2018. The emphasis continues to be on science, technology and maths, and graduates will be trained to teach in schools with a high proportion of Māori and Pacifica students and students from lower socioeconomic backgrounds. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Dr Jan Yang. What other measures is the government taking to address teacher supply and quality? Well, Mr. The Speaker, Honourable Nikki Kay. Mr Speaker, as I said in my previous answer, the number of registered uh, teachers with practising certificates has gone from 90,000 to 100,000. But this government is doing more. This government is also committing $2 million to the Education Council to create an induction and mentoring programme for eligible provisionally certified teachers to convert up to 700 teachers to gain full registration. There will of course be a focus in hard to staff areas including core subjects and, um, and geographical locations. The new mentoring programme follows recommendations made by the Joint Working Group on Secondary Teacher Supply in their 2016 report. Having listened to principals, the Education Council and those on the front line of recruitment, we are working hard to support more teachers to stay in the profession as well as encourage more high-caliber graduates. This is a government investing heavily in education. We've gone from eight to $11 billion. We're investing more. And that does conclude questions for oral answer. I have received a letter from Andrew Little.